We are setting out to uh, recreate Captain Scott's Terra Nova expedition, which involves two of us uh, setting out in late October to travel on foot from the coast of Antarctica to the South Pole and then back to the coast again. Entirely unsupported, which involves uh, wearing skis, wearing a harness, dragging sledges behind us with everything we need for nearly four months. So uh, 200 kilos each at the start, 110 days of food and fuel. When it comes to the equipment, the clothing we're wearing, uh, everything we're dragging behind us in the sledges, um, the two things really are paramount. The first one is, is durability, obviously they have to last, but the second is that they have to be lightweight and the lighter the sledges are, the higher our chances of success. So the, the attention to detail and the level of, of effort that goes into preparation has been extraordinary. The sledges themselves are made of carbon fibre, we have uh, titanium um, spoons, uh, but we also go to lengths like cutting the labels out of clothes, we cut the metal tabs off of, off of zips to save weight, we've even cut the little corners off these uh, freeze-dried food bags to save a, you know, a couple of grams per bag. So we get quite obsessive, but um, when, you're, when you're dragging that much weight in those sort of conditions, then, then every gram counts. The trick for us really is, 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 is regulating and managing our temperature. Obviously when you're pulling a very heavy sledge, you can actually get quite hot quite quickly. So we have big zips under the arms of the jackets, the fabrics themselves are designed to breathe, they're windproof, they're not waterproof because it's not, it's not going to rain down there. So we have um, windproof outer layers, several layers of insulation we can, we can play around with, um, and then big down jackets that we put on when we stop just to sort of preserve our heat while we eat and drink and then take them off and carry on again. So we've got some of the, some of the kit here. Um, I'm going to pull this jacket out and show you. This is um, one of the down jackets or duvet jackets that we'll put on every time we stop. So we stop um, about six times a day, about every hour and a half. Uh, we have a, a, a sort of day's uh, bag of that day's food inside the sedge. We have a couple of big vacuum flasks of hot energy drink. Now, uh, if it's very cold, very windy or, or both, as soon as you stop, you start to lose heat very, very quickly and cool down very quickly. So essentially what we need is, is a big jacket that fits on over everything. So these are extra large um, and uh, you can see the zips. This is one I've actually used on a North Pole trip. The zips have got big, long string togs on. So with mittens on, you can very easily just put it on, zip it up, pull the hood up. And, and it's almost like being inside a sleeping bag. So you're, you're, you're out of the elements. You preserve the body heat you've been generating um, while, you, while you stop. And then the hard part is you take it off again at the end and carry on. So that first 10 or 15 minutes when you, when you start skiing again, especially if the weather's bad, um, can be pretty grim. So that's the down jacket. Um, it's it's uh, obviously a very lightweight synthetic outer, it's windproof, but it's because it's down, it's feather filled, it compresses down to, to almost nothing and, and very lightweight as well. Uh, these are some of the boots. Um, these are actually a slightly older version. Um, our, all our, the equipment we're using has actually been sent out now to Chile as freight. So um, these are custom made. Um, they are, they're essentially ski boots. So the binding has a, they have a bar across the bottom that clips into the binding. Um, they're a double layered boot. They've got a, a sort of foil line that you can see that's kind of metallic. Um, so it keeps all the heat in. They are, they're complete synthetic. They're, they're non-absorbent, so they won't ice up. They don't freeze up. Um, and they're, they're nice and light. They're extraordinarily durable um, and good down to minus 55. Uh, this is one of our skis. Um, these were used in Greenland. We were testing them out in Greenland earlier this year. And this is um, one of the ways that we're really innovating with this expedition. Um, for many years, I've used fairly traditional, long, skinny Norwegian, almost like cross-country skiing skis. Uh, thanks to Tarka's background in ski mountaineering, he suggested we try uh, these, which are made in Italy. They, they have carbon fibre and Kevlar in them, so they're a lot lighter than the traditional skis we've used. They're a little bit wider, a little bit shorter, um, and really, really strong. We've got um, these uh, backcountry touring bindings, so there's a a bit at the front that flips up, the boot clips in. Crucially, when you flip it over, you can see we've got these strips of fabric which are sort of four-wheel drive for skis. So this is how we get traction on the snow, traction control over the snow. Um, they're smooth in one direction and they, they grip in the other. 